I wasn't gonna film today. I was just gonna go and relax and dig, but I've been finding quite a bit of stuff. I got my first ever saddle shield, I believe. It's an old one. I got a nice flatty, plain on the front, broken time back. I got this drilled shank, beautiful. Oh, and I just pulled out my first complete set of cufflinks. It was beeping a five. Well, it was a seven in the ground, a five out of the ground. I haven't looked at them yet, but I know they're both there. Look at that. That's beautiful. Let me brush these down and get right back to you. Wow, these things are old. Super fragile. I would assume these are colonial. The property I'm on, the house is built, still standing, 1710. Where's the sun? There you are. Beautiful little pattern on there. I'm not gonna do too much to them right now because they're super fragile, but holy crap. All right, who knows? Maybe I'll get a coin today. We got about an hour left, so I gotta get moving. Oh, I love this hobby. Man, I swear to you, no more than 10 feet. Right there is where I dug those cufflinks. I have another first. Ready for it? Oh, baby, look at that nipple. Broken shank, that's okay by me. Well, Steph. <laughs> I was just watching a video uh, Steph digs where she was <laughs> digging her third nipple button. Well, I got my first. Sweet. This is a first for me. This is a first for me. And look at that. Another first. Sorry about the wind noise, everybody. It's brutal out here today, but that, I knew that was not a coin because of the numbers. It's running up like a 910. Uh, oh, I got a nice big copper sized tomback, broken shank. Man, this wind is brutal. It's like 20 degrees out today. I'm dying out here. Part of the reason why I wasn't even gonna film, but I mean, so you're finding the stuff, you gotta do it. All right, I'll get back with you. Oh, here we go. All right, <laughs> I knew there has to be a silver in here. I was getting like a 27, 26, 28. My pinpointer's dead. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, the one dime game. Oh, I don't have any water. Ah, it's a barber. 1900 on the nose. Dang, I thought it was gonna be my first seated. Oh, 1909. gently rubbing this. Let me throw it in my mouth because my water's frozen. And uh, I'll bring it back in. Oh, I knew I was going to get a silver today. I could feel it. There we go. That was a horrible idea. This thing literally tastes like fertilizer. <laughs> Straight manure. 
Uh, we're looking like no mint mark on that bad boy. Man, oh man. Oh. <sighs> Beautiful. Alright, let's keep going here. I know the wind is crazy. Hey everybody, welcome to the wrap up. I'm going to keep it short for you today. We got this. This is actually a, like a bridal shield or a bridal adornment. It's not a saddle shield. I can't remember if I said it was in the video or not, but I found out since then what it really is. And uh, this is probably late 1700s, early 1800s. Got the old flat button there. My 1909 Barber Dime. I've got the old Tom back button. That 1700s. These cufflinks are super fragile. These are probably early 1700s. Pretty sure, like up to maybe 1720 or so, right around there. 1700 to 1720. Beautiful design on them. My first ever ever nipple button. It's actually in decent shape. It's missing the shank, but otherwise, it's not bad. And this is mid 1600s. They were popular. So probably mid to late 16s. This is probably the original homeowners of the property. You got this old drilled shank on this button. As you can see all the hand tooling marks where they filed it down. It's pretty crude, but I like it. I don't have many of these. And then we got this button. It's a flatty, it's got a little eagle back mark. Can't quite make it out. Playing on the front. And that's it. I just went out this morning, got these. There won't be a video on them, but aluminum ring, 1954 nickel. Got this dandy little fancy around the edges, nice thimble. And piece of uh, probably iron shoe buckle frame. Well, or at least this part was iron. That's it. Mm -hmm.